Well, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here, and welcome to the channel. I'm going to go over a few things uh, this morning that uh, I've discovered that I didn't realize or know about my Toyota Tacoma Sport. Um, these are a few things that I've kind of just realized or figured out along the way. So we're going to start uh, with one of the, the coolest things, I think, that I didn't even realize I had. Okay, we're going to start off here right in the driver's seat. And I didn't realize this uh, until the other day. I was driving around and it was a bright sunny day. And I had the sun beating in on me on the, the driver's side, you know, through the window. And even with the tent that I have, it was still kind of bright, you know. So I thought, because I've had this in other vehicles, I wonder if the visor slides over. You guys can see up here. So I pulled it down and... Uh, Gave it a try, and indeed, if you guys see here, the driver or the uh, visor does extend. Check that out. So, if you're driving down the road and you've got uh, sun beating in on you against this window, this thing will extend. And further, I also figured out that, uh, and I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. Yeah, right there. It even says that it slides on this little plastic piece here. Um, on both sides Never really tried it before so I didn't know that uh, that it had that option even on the uh, Passenger side You know a lot of times the passenger doesn't get the creature comforts of the driver But the passenger side does extend as well Pretty cool. I like that All right, the next thing that I've discovered we've got to open the rear here is behind the driver's seat I didn't notice until recently, and actually a subscriber to the channel pointed this out, but on the passenger side, there is this little uh, area here or spot where you can stick stuff behind the passenger seat. You know, you could slide maps down there if anybody still uses such things, or a laptop computer or whatever. But the driver's side here does not have that. I'm not quite sure why the driver's side doesn't have that. I don't know of any reason why within this seat you wouldn't want to have that or it couldn't be put in there but uh, it is one thing that the truck is missing that uh, I didn't realize now not that big a deal I guess if you drive mostly by yourself or you don't store a lot of stuff in there but you know if you were uh, going on a trip and you had kids with you or something you know with iPods and laptops or whatever that kind of stuff would be a convenient place for them to stick those kind of things doesn't have it on the driver's side. Again, not quite sure why. Okay, this next one, and I've wondered about this uh, every time I go to fill up the gas tank. You know, you go back here, you open the latch, and uh, what do you do with the gas cap once you take it off? You know, if you're like me, I don't like to have it dangling down here against my paint, you know? Always worries me that I'm gonna scratch something. So then I got to looking around, and there really is no obvious place to hang it, at least not that I had seen, until recently. The last time I went to get gas, I was looking at this little kind of notched out area on the, uh, the gas cap holder, and I thought, there's got to be a reason it's like that. I mean, why did they put this notch in here, you know? And where does it go? I mean, it doesn't reach anywhere. Well, it actually allows you to kind of stretch it out just a little bit, and if you go up here to the uh, latch, it fits right there. Pretty cool. I mean, it really is a pretty good use for that, and it goes in really pretty easily. Um, so it's not like you have to fiddle around trying to fit that in some notch somewhere. So it actually is pretty good, and it gives you a place to hang that gas cap when you're getting gas. Pretty neat, something I didn't know uh, until recently on the Tacoma. All right, this next one is actually very convenient. And I didn't real, realize this right when I got the truck, but it was shortly thereafter that uh, it actually dawned on me I should try it. And that is, when you get out of the, the truck and you want to lock it, you know, you don't have to pull the key fob out of your pocket, nor should you. It is keyless entry, right? So it ought to have keyless lock. And it didn't dawn on me until probably the second or third time that I, that I went to lock the truck that I didn't have to use the key fob to lock it. That's because it has keyless lock or touch lock. These little dashes that you hear, see here or lines, you just touch that and the truck locks. 
pretty cool feature and you know it's probably really pretty common on any vehicle that has keyless entry but just something I didn't realize right away for some reason when I got the truck now along with that of course and this I did know um, you walk up to the truck and touch the handle and it opens but along with this and we'll go ahead and lock it there's one other thing that uh, that I really do miss that I really do feel is lacking and we have to go over here to the passenger side to see this but there is no touch or keyless entry on the passenger side of the vehicle or on the driver's side rear now you might think well that's not a big deal I mean you, you get in on the driver's side right well I don't know how many times I've gone to the store for example pick something up and I'm walking out I don't want to sit it on the seat in the driver's side you know so it's easy to pull out when I get home or whatever and I've walked up to the truck and grabbed this handle and of course nothing happens well nothing happens because it doesn't have that feature now that's something that I I think it really should have I mean that is just convenience if you're gonna have keyless entry um, why not have it on both the driver's side and passenger sides of the door might be some kind of a security thing I guess so that when you walk up you can have the truck set so that when you touch that only your door opens on the driver's side but it's uh, it's just a little bit annoying when you're carrying something out and you forget or whatever or you want to put it on the passenger side but you either have to whip out the key fob which usually in my case when I want to put something on the passenger side I'm carrying things in my hand so that's kind of a drag um, but it would be nice if you could just touch that you know the, the passenger side door and have the doors open or at least that door anyway but that's something I didn't realize about the Tacoma until later on this next one I actually have to go in and, and pop the hood and I've mentioned this before but it is something that I didn't realize the truck didn't have uh, until after I went to open the hood so we're gonna go ahead and pop the hood open there and now this isn't a a big deal but it's just another one of those little convenience type things let me go ahead and uh, set you guys down here for just a minute so I can pop the hood all right we've uh, we've got the hood open and what I'm talking about here is the lack of hood struts no hood struts now I would think these days on on any truck that you get that's midsize or bigger they should have them uh, because it's just more number one convenient two these hoods are heavy not that it isn't something you can't do I mean it's not so hard that you know it's a major effort but it's just more of a like I said a convenience feature where when you pop the hood put the hood up it just flows on up you know like the Tundra does Gonna have to give kudos to the Tundra for that. Um, need to have some hood struts on the Tacoma. All right, now this last one is uh, is a matter of controlling annoying sounds. You know, I don't know if you guys have experienced it, but when you're going down the road, it's a warm day, you have the windows open, and you hear this flopping around, this constant tapping in the rear of the seat belts against the plastic in the rear of the truck. I know you must have felt this before or heard this before because I have many times and I've even heard people complain about it that didn't know or didn't realize this. But let's take a look inside. If we pull this seat forward a little bit, you'll see right here on the edges, there is a clip here. You guys can see hopefully this clip, let me turn you around a little bit maybe, this clip right here. Now, the purpose of that, of course, is to clip this seat belt in. I would imagine the number one reason is to keep it out of the way. But it also has a secondary feature, and that keeps this thing from flopping around, you know, like that, when you're in the wind. You know, you get that constant noise. Have you ever heard that? Is that not annoying? Very annoying. Well, I'm here to tell you they did include these little seat belt clips in the back so that you can stop that from happening. They're on both sides and they are a fantastic feature. And you know, sometimes it's the little things. This isn't some 
you know, major addition to the truck or some option that you should have to buy. It should just be included, and it is. So kudos to uh, Tacoma Toyota for doing that. Certainly does uh, keep things a little calmer in the truck when you're driving with the windows down and the wind blowing on those back seat belts. Okay, those are just a few things that, uh, that I didn't realize or even think about when I first got the Tacoma. Uh, some discoveries that uh, I think are pretty cool. That sliding sun visor, that's pretty neat. And the place that you can put the gas cap when you're at the station filling up, that's awesome too. Can't stand to have that gas cap dangling around on my paint, especially if it's windy and it's blowing around on there, you know? Um, probably the biggest takeaway for me from uh, all of this is, uh, is that lack of touchless entry on the passenger side. I really wish that it had that. Um, just another little modern convenience, I guess. And the other thing I'll throw in about that, I don't know if you've ever experienced this, but you're walking out to the truck and your wife, girlfriend, kids, whatever, are trying to get in on that passenger side and they get to the truck a little quicker than you do and they're running up and they're grabbing that handle and they're pulling on it, you know, like something magically is gonna happen. Now, of course, if that had touchless entry and you were near the truck with the key fob, they'd be able to get in. Because I don't know about you guys, but somebody jerking on my handle like that is very annoying. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button if you haven't before. And leave a comment down below. Did you guys know about all these things? We'll see you next time on the web. Bye.